Special ops troops say they want to fight ISIS from the front lines, but the Obama administration restricting their mission. In a new interview with the Daily Beast, one unnamed special operator says this, we're doing everything through cell phones. It's hard to do much when you can't go outside the wire. Jim Hansen served in the Army Special Forces and is now the executive vice president of the Center for Security Policy. Thanks for coming in this morning, Jim. Uh, good to be with you, Peter. Uh, so why is it that all of a sudden these special operators who killed bin Laden, they saved Captain Phillips, they've changed the fight in ways that a lot of people don't realize, now they're just sitting on their hands? Well, President Obama has made it uh, abundantly clear that he's not going to lead from the front and he's not going to allow these guys to lead from the front. Um, airstrikes, okay. Acting as the Iranian Air Force, that's okay. But making a large enough commitment to actually take a full run at winning and defeating ISIS doesn't seem to be in his strategy, if you can call it that. Uh, but it looked for so long as he tried to get boots on the ground away that his strategy was going to be use special operators and drones. And now it seems like the special operator part of that isn't, isn't getting much attention. Yeah, and, and it's sad because, okay, I can understand, nobody is really interested in rolling tanks from Baghdad to Damascus. But at this point, sending raids in to disrupt the enemy's command structure to keep them off balance would go a long way towards hindering their ability to operate. Right now, they're not really particularly worried about what's happening to them. So if we could actually get them off balance and stop them from freely operating wherever they want, we could slow down their rate of advance and hopefully start pushing them backwards. This Daily Beast article where some special operators are now complaining that they're not getting to do much quotes, uh, the Air Force Special Operations Command Lieutenant General Bradley Heithold, he said uh, they're talking about the fight against ISIS now, the way that things stand, as a 15-year struggle. Is that about how you see things? I think the war against the global jihad movement has to be a long war because it's bigger than just ISIS. The problem now is we don't have a plan to even defeat ISIS in 15 years. I mean, right now, if anyone's going to defeat ISIS, it's going to be the Iranians. They've moved in heavy weapons. They've replaced us as the ones the Iraqis rely on when they want to conduct a strike. So instead of precision American, American airstrikes or precision raids by us, you're going to get heavy artillery and rockets launched by the Iranians in support of operations. And you're going to see a lot more dead civilians. It's going to look more like World War II than Zero Dark Thirty. And uh, that's a great way to put that. And uh, ultimately, though, President Obama is the commander in chief. He's the boss. Do you see any problem with some of these special operators now coming out and complaining about what the commander in chief wants to do, how he wants to lead the fight? It's not proper protocol. And you're right. It is against regulations in some way, shape, or form. But it's a sign of just how badly our strategy has failed that they're willing to speak out like this. We're losing the war against ISIS. They're expanding, and we have no leverage or influence in the area. And the problem is, with the Iranians moving forward, this could turn into a Shia-Sunni hot war. And that's a nightmare for everyone. That could affect the oil routes. And if oil's not flowing, gas prices could go through the roof which could actually affect everybody here at home. Oh, boy. Jim Hansen, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Pleasure, Peter.